evening has settled in and we're ready to continue on the night drive. We're going to head up towards Bifusuk Dam still, that's the plan. And from there, just sort of jiga jiga as we say in Shangan, we're going to just sort of zigzag down towards where we might find those elephants again. Hopefully, we get to spend more time with them. And uh, yeah. Okay. Peter, we've got Our camp. And uh, obviously, all the kids are at the moment on holiday, so there's lots of children around just from a school break. Uh, so most of those children, I, I don't even know their names. I know one or two of their names, but uh, most of them uh, are just children that are here for, for the holiday break. In terms of the grown-ups in it, Alex, you can see them sort of from him back, sort of back two corners. And then um, Charles was sitting next to me. He's the head ranger at Voyatella and Bush Lodge, or sort of of Juma, really. He's the head ranger and, um, and we officers and guides out here. Uh, Eric is there as well. He's the guy with the glasses on. He's helped us many, many times with our favorite little machine with the tank. He's the mechanic, and as his workshop actually says, it's got a, a board above it saying car doctor. Um, who else was in that? I'm trying to remember. I think December was in that and a couple of other people, but I can't remember all the names. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the basic wrap of that group picture. That's also the Defender, the new little car we've got to run around the shot. Okay, I think we're going to head for keep looking as long as we can. But I don't think we've got much more time left. I don't know why that is, but uh, we're almost out of power. I'm going to say good night for now, I think, without promises, but a good chance elephants tomorrow just because they are heading back into our area so we're going to resume the search in the morning but for now thank you very much for joining us from myself Peter and from Alex also from the the Life Control Center but we're going to keep looking until we don't and uh, we'll see you in the morning Look at that. Evening ladies. Guys, I've got a feeling we're going to stay with them for a few seconds or minutes as long as we can with the power but we found the elephants again. Fantastic. And they're nice and relaxed. Already they're settling down with us. Making less noise. Getting for red lights on them as well so now we can sit in darkness around them. Fantastic. Also seems the batteries are giving us a last effort and that's very good news. Very, very glad to end off with these guys. Look at that little calf suckling, having a drink. And also showing that these elephants are relaxing more with us. Oh, that's our other light. Very, very glad to be back with them and also not only back with the elephants, but the fact that they're nice and relaxed. The fact that they're comfortable, there's not other vehicles bothering them now. They can just settle down to what they're doing and allow us to oh there's one right here next to us I can't see it even I just hear it where is it oh there we go hello look right here with us again I've got a feeling that's probably the same youngster from this morning look at that hello it's okay you can come closer we come in peace <laughs> ah they're such awesome animals absolutely magic look forward to in future spending a lot more time with elephant and infrared lights just because they seem even more relaxed one of my favorite things with elephants is to be with them at night in full moon and you don't have to use any lights whatsoever even with the infrared we'd be able to look at them just in the natural moonlight and they become so comfortable and so relaxed I've had it before where you're sitting literally in the middle of a herd and you and I think infrared lights are going to give us that experience as well with them more often in future Ah, what a great end to this. Get these elephants again. They're not rushing anywhere. Hopefully they're still around for the next day or two. Previously when they were in this area, Western Gari, they did manage to stick around for a day or two at least. Hopefully they'll do so again now. Loxodonta Africana.
Sue, do you copy? Hi Peter, if the battery's sold out, I've got one question from Tim. Is the baby Ellie a boy or girl, and how old are they, when you are able to tell which is which? Tim? Thank you Sue. Guys, and I think we're all quite happy that the batteries are giving their best tonight. Um, it's the question coming through there from Kim asking about if that, I presume you're talking about that little baby from this morning. The one we saw just now was definitely a little boy. That one with his backside hidden away there. But um, that baby we saw this morning, I'm not quite sure. I think it's a little male, but I'm not 100% sure. And you can normally start telling, I mean, once they're a couple of years, but with elephants, even once they mature, it can be a little tricky sometimes. I must say, once they get into their 20s, it's quite easy just because of the shape of the body. Also, the males get much bigger. But yeah, anything from sort of teenage years and younger, you have to look quite carefully. Reason being is that all this sort of, <laughs> look at how classic that looks, the big and the small tail. Reason being is that both male and female elephant have a bit of a loose sort of skin of in the back, so difficult to see. So when they're very young, it's quite, quite hard sometimes. Of course, once they mature with the females, you can see the mammary glands in between the front legs. And you can also see the heads, the physical skull. There, but what a lovely sighting, just as we turn the corner to see those two elephants. Beautiful. Um, anyway, thank you very much for joining us on the drive this evening and uh, for all your good wishes welcoming me back. Thank you so much for that. And of course we'll be back again at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning at Central African time here at Wild Earth. So good evening from all of us here at Wild Earth in South Africa. From Peter, from Alex who was on camera, this, um, from me Sue in the final control centre and of course from the elephants um, who no doubt we will try to pick up again tomorrow morning. Good evening to you all.